Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's K Melton. Today I am going to teach you guys how to get this flawless no makeup makeup look. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay y'all, so we're going to take our eyebrow pomade from Plan and Makeup by Yolando and we are going to outline our brows and then fill them in. Now that our eyebrows are filled in, now we are going to conceal them to help clean them up and give them a nice and sharp look. Now we're just going to clean up underneath our brow and on top of our brow. And we're going to blend this concealer down onto our lid. Now we're going to take our P. Louise base and we are going to prime our lid. And we're not going to use a lot, we're only going to use a little bit. And we're going to blend that into the concealer as well. And you can use any eyeshadow primer that you have. It doesn't have to be the P. Louise base. It can be concealer, it can be an ABH base. It doesn't matter. Whatever you have, you can use that as a base. So now we're going to take the matte book by the crayon case and we're going to use those two colors that I just showed you guys and we're going to apply that to our lid. And we're just going to take that brown and buff it right underneath our eyebrow all the way around you're gonna buff it all the way around just like that now we're going to go in with that second brown and we are going to apply that to our lid and we're gonna lightly buff it up there we don't want the color to be super saturated. You just want a light tint of brown. Just like that, a light tint of brown. Not, nothing too crazy, not super heavy, just a light tint so that it still looks really natural. Okay y'all, so now that we are done with that, we are going to go ahead and apply our eyeliner. Today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyeliner as well as the Plan and Makeup by Yolando eyeliner. And I will show you guys those two and then we'll go ahead and get started with that. For my wing, I like to do my outline first and then go back and fill it in. And when you do your wing, you want to make sure your line is as straight as possible on the top and make sure you don't have any dips in your eyeliner when you're doing your wing. Okay y'all, so now that we have our eyeliner done, I'm actually only going to do the one eyeliner. I'm not going to put the white eyeliner on top. So I've just used the e.l.f. eyeliner and dip my wing. Now we're going to get on to the face application. We're going to use two primers today. We're going to use our Farsali primer and our Milk Makeup Primer. So we are going to apply our Farsali primer first. And then we are going to take 
one pump of the Milk Hydro Wear Primer. You don't need a lot of these primers, y'all. You only need a little bit. And I try to concentrate it in the areas that would typically get oily first. We're gonna take our Real Techniques Instapop face brush and blend this foundation out. And when you do your foundation, you want to tap, not smear. You wanna tap it. And I would recommend starting out with a little bit and then adding more as you need instead of adding too much because you can't take it away after you add too much. Now that everything is buffed out, we are going to go ahead and apply our concealer. We're going to take the shade B300 and use that to highlight our face first. And this concealer does dry really fast, so you kind of have to work fast with this. And to blend it out, I'm taking my Morphe M173 brush. I'm going to spray it a little bit with some refreshing spray. And we're going to blend this out. And you want to tap, not smear and rub. Now we are going to take our foundation brush that we just used and dab the edges of that concealer to blend it out and to get rid of those harsh lines. Around the nose, lips, and chin. We are going to take D300 and use that to contour. And we are going to take this Wet n Wild brush and blend that out. But first, we're going to spray it. And begin blending it out. And when you blend out your contour, you want to go up, not down. And if you did go down too far, I'll show you how to clean it up in a second. You're gonna take if you have a sponge it's a little bit easier to get a cleaner line 
but if you only have a brush that's okay too and you're just going to dab that setting powder down and you want to meet right in between your lips. You don't need a lot, you just want a little bit just to buff into that contour to set everything. You need to set anything that's liquid and cream. We are going to take that same powder and contour our nose. I'm using this kind of fluffy brush right here. And we're just going to go right along the side where we want that contour to be. Just like that. So that's this side. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. and apply some blush. If you need help with blush placement, you can smile. And then apply your blush. We're going to start with Angola first. Now we are going to apply Glow K. We're going to apply Gumbo, which is the brown crayon case lipstick, and we're going to apply that as a liner first. going to take that Revlon gloss and apply that over top of the brown. Just like that and that gives you the perfect nude combo every single time. Dark brown and pink. It gives you the perfect nude lip every single time. Yeah. We're going to take our dual lash glue and apply that to our lash line. And they pop right on just like that. And we're going to apply that to our lower lash line. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I get this look requested a lot. And I finally decided to give you guys a video for it, a tutorial on how to get your flawless, natural looking makeup, no makeup, makeup look, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to turn your notifications on so you'll know every time I post a video. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you for watching.